The topic for today is lingual phrenectomy. Now, what do you mean by frenum? So, it is a thin band of fibrous tissue and few muscle fibers which is covered by the mucous membrane and it is connecting the lips, cheeks or the tongue to the jaw bones. So, phrenectomy is nothing but the removal of one of these folds or tissues. So, lingual frenum, it is attached to the crest of the alveolar ridge and it connects to the tongue below the tip of the tongue in the case of edentulous patient and in dentulous patient it is attached to the lingual gingiva behind the mandibular incisor so this condition is also known as ankyloglossia or tongue tie now where do we need this lingual phrenectomy so it is indicated when you want to correct the speech and it is also done prior to the denture fabrication or construction as it can interfere with the denture stability because every time the tongue is moved frenum is going to get tensed and the denture is going to get dislodged the next indication is it is used to improve the tongue mobility now moving towards the technique so first is you're going to give the local anesthesia so in this bilateral lingual nerve block it is given with local infiltration Next thing, the most important thing that you're going to do is you're going to give a silk suture that is also known as the tongue traction suture which is placed to improve the visibility and control and to stabilize the tongue during procedure. So it is placed at the midway of the tongue. Next is now using sharp scissor, you're going to make a cut which is made 1 to 2 centimeters midway between the tip of the tongue and the lingual surface of the mandible. So what you can do is you can place a hemostat. So you can place one hemostat at the anterior attachment of the frenum and another hemostat at the inferior attachment of the frenum. And later you are going to give a cut. So that is a cross diamond shaped incision or what we say is a horizontal or transverse cut that you are going to give. So now in this care should be taken to avoid injuring the submandibular duct or the blood vessels. Later, you are going to retract the tongue superiorly and the undermining of the tissues or the mucosa, it is done. Later, dissection of the genioglossus muscle, fiber is also done if it is required and always avoid damaging the submandibular duct orifice. Lastly, sutures are given in the vertical direction. So, here the main thing is you are going to make the cut horizontally and you are going to give the sutures in the vertical direction. So that was about the technique for lingual phrenectomy. Now lastly, the complications which you can see during the procedure is you can injure the superior lingual vessels or the Wharton's duct that is the submandibular duct and post-operative complications can be hematoma or pain or restricted tongue movements or there can be partial dysphagia. So that was all about lingual phrenectomy. Thank you so much.